Hi, it's Cam again with another video for HowToDigitalPaint.com Continuing the series on digital painting in Photoshop Now into episode 5 And today we're looking at the layers palette And just some different workflow tips for for using layers And briefly looking at the layer comps palette Now firstly, if you don't already have the layers palette open Go to Window and you'll find Layers here Hotkey is F7 to open it. Now what are layers? Layers are a, a way of separating elements of your image and also a way of stacking them in a hierarchy. So things, things lower in the list will be behind things that are higher in the list. So my background layer is at the back and this layer here is is in front of that. So we can really separate our elements onto individual areas. So you can see I can move this on its own with that layer selected. And to select different layers we just can click a layer here in our palette or we can use selection tool hotkey is V control click if I just want to click the logo here and you can see it's selecting those different things I might want to select this text so control click and it selected that text we can also select the pixels of of one of these, so I just want to select the pixels of this. You can control click on the thumbnail, and you can see it now has a selection there, and that's handy if you want to copy things or um, create create work paths to make shapes out of, and so forth. Now to make a new layer we can click this little icon here or we can go here new layer or the hotkey control shift n control shift n will come up with this dialog box here so that's an extra option rather than clicking here and if you want to duplicate a layer we can either hold alt while clicking over that and it'll duplicate that layer. Or we can hold hold it down and drag it over the new layer icon and that will duplicate it. Or you can access the submenu duplicate layer. Or you can set up a hotkey for it. There's so many ways to do one thing in Photoshop and uh, just find what works best for you. So, to rename layers, we can double click the name and then just type it in. We can get rid of a layer by pressing delete with that layer selected or we can drag it over the trash can. To move layers, we just use the selection tool we can move it around. Ctrl Z to undo. We can also lock a layer if we don't if we don't want to move it around. We can safeguard it with a by locking it. We can also lock the transparency of a layer. So what that means is it will lock the pixels that I've painted on that layer. So the handy thing for this means that I can say I paint a, an area in on a new layer paint some green in on a new layer then I can lock that and then can maybe go on with another color and you can see it's only painting in 
to the, those pixels that I painted in. And then to unlock it, we just click that toggle again. We can lock it so we can't paint on it. We can also lock it to not move it. Or we can lock all. Another handy thing with layers is the ability to change the opacity on a layer. So I might go in and paint, a, paint some green on his face and think, you know, it's too overboard, but I still want some green in there. So I can adjust the opacity and just lighten the effect there. You can also manipulate further by using different layer modes such as overlay, overlaying colors, color layer affecting the colors and other things. If you want to know more about layer modes uh, I'm sure you can find heaps already written about it but I really encourage you to experiment and play around with these different modes and you'll find some great effects that will enhance your workflow. Now we'll just have a quick look at masks. So what masks are, are basically applying applying a mask over something so um, I'll just show you how it works because it's a little difficult to explain but it should give you a clear idea if I demonstrate it so to make a mask we can click this icon and we can see it's now made a mask and has that selected make sure that when you're working with a mask that you have the thumbnail for it selected otherwise it will be affecting or painting on um, the image itself not the mask so I might want to show or hide uh, black is going to hide an area you can see it's almost erasing an area out but it works different to the eraser in the sense that I can then paint those back in by using white and using you know the in-between sprays is going to make a lighter or stronger stronger mask so you can adjust that to your liking or we can delete a layer just drag it into the trash can delete. Uh, adjustment layers are a really handy way. You can see on this image I have an adjustment layer for levels which boosts the highlights and the shadows. We can also apply other adjustment layers such as hue saturation. I'll make it more saturated and a different, different uh, hue. And these work just like these adjustments, but they affect all the layers beneath and give you the option of toggling them on or off. And also you can use the layer modes with them. Now if I want my adjustment layer to only affect one, one region or one layer, I bring it close to the layer that I want it to affect, just above it hold alt and select in between you'll see the the icon shows up and now it's only affecting this layer directly beneath it I can also um, add multiple layers that it affects by doing this so selecting multiple And that's a brief run through. There are other features such as being able to group layers, control G with the layers selected. You can select it here, new group, so that will 
be good for your layer management management. You can move things in and out of those groups, dragging them in or out of the group. Uh, now we'll just look quickly at layer compilations, also known as layer comps or layer composites. So this is an additional thing to layers. And what this means is that I can um, set up different visibility uh, presets for my for my image. So I've already got some made here. So this is a preset that only shows the lines. This is another preset that shows the final. And all that's really doing is just toggling on or off the visibility of different layers. So we can see we're changing the visibility of layers by clicking on the eye on or off. And to make a layer composite, just have the layers that you want visible toggled on or off. And then click here on this little top top right corner of your layer comps palette and just make new layer comp, give it a name, check or uncheck the options. I usually just have visibility because that's all I really uh, need it for. And now we've got a new layer comp. Just to mix it up, I'll make a new one. Get new, new layer comp. See, I've got different options now for it. So this is a really good way of managing your layers. If you just want to check the lines, check check different areas, and also when you're presenting to clients, you may have different um, different setups for an image, different options, and it's also really good for storyboarding. If you have different things going on in the same frame, you may want to set those up, the different cues within layer comps. So I hope that really helps. If you have more questions, ask in the comments. You can also email me at cam at howtodigitalpaint.com. I'll try to cover more. And I hope hope I helped and made it a bit clear. I'm sure I left a, a little bit out, but um, yeah, just let me know if you're having real troubles with it and I'll help out. So yeah, thanks for watching. Check out more videos to come. Uh, I'm updating daily, five days a week, Monday to Friday. So please continue looking out for the series and hope you, hope you appreciate and learn something from these videos.